kaunti ya Tana River ambako familia moja katika eneo la Garseni imeandamana na kupinga ama kupiga kambi katika kituo cha polisi cha Garseni ikitakajibu la aliko mpendwa wao mwenye umri wa miaka mbili aliyedaiwa kutekwa nyara katika kituo hicho hicho cha polisi siku ya Jumamosi kisa hiki kinaongeza idadi ya visa vya utekaji nyara huko mashirika ya haki za kibinadamu ya kiripoti zaidi ya visa moja na saba tangu kuanza kwa maandamano ya Gen Z hii imeleta hofu huku wanaharakati kisema taifa la Kenya limerejelea enzi za udikteta mwanahabari Tobias Chanje na arifu zaidi huku akiwa amebeba mabango na kuimba nyimbo za kutaka haki familia jamaa na marafiki waliandamana kutoka kijijini mwao hadi katika kituo cha polisi cha Garsen wakitaka kufahamishwa kina Gobaga aliko mpendwa wao Abdullahi Ahmed mwenye miaka mbili na anayeugua mzee alikuwa ameenda kuripoti kwa sababu kulikuwa na mzee mwingine ambaye ni huyu hapa amesimama kando yangu alikuwa ametekwa nyara hata kama bila adam si malaika kama adam kosa nigea hii inaleta sheria koti hii serikali inaleta kila koti sawa mtu ingia mkoso hiyo kwa adhabu yake kwa koti ami dolomo sana babangu sasa si serikali kama unasaidia kama sisi kwa watu wa Kenya tafadhali 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 kwanza leo joni mtolee baba Jumatano Oktoba tarehe 9 mwanarakati Bob Jagi alielezea dhulma alizopitia mikononi mwa maafisa wa serikali kwa kipindi cha mwezi mmoja aliyokuwa amezuiliwa I was whisked away into a building and ushered into a small and very dark room it was the size of 6 feet by 4 feet I was left on the floor handcuffed at the back and blindfolded for two days without food only some water that was Namo tarehe 13 mwezi Septemba mwaka 2024 mwakilishi wa wadi ya Dela County ya Wajia Yusuf Hussein alitekwa nyara na watu waliokuwa wamejihami katika mitaa ya jiji la Nairobi na hadi wa leo haijulikani alipo kwa mjibu wa shirika la kutetea haki za binadamu Vocal Africa sajili yao ina kisia zaidi ya visa moja na saba ya watu waliotekwa nyara huku polisi wakinyoshewa kidole cha lawama earlier on we saw abductions being reported in uh, Mombasa in Nairobi and the environs but uh, it got even worse when the Gen Z protests began we saw people being picked from the streets people being picked from their homes people being picked from their places of work and it got so bad that uh, you know human rights defenders were even afraid of venturing outside their homes yale ambayo pia imemtia kiwewe naibu rais rigathi gashagwa first and foremost the kenya constitution number 2 the penal code cap 63 number 3 the criminal the criminal procedure code cpc cap 75 and the evidence act cap 8 tobias chanji ktn